Yo, we're just looking for my boys back here on our AV narration today. We got the semifinals game between Smilzo and ZF. ZF is on Team Northeast, while Smilzo is on Team Italy. So we immediately see some action. We see the Zeppel switch into the EQ from Salamence. Nice play. Covers the EQ and the Brick Break. Uh, now, nice play into Snorlax as well. Snorlax is going to be able to slurp up any hits from Zapdos. If, if this is rest, Snorlax is going to be able to slurp up any hit from Zapdos for the remainder of the game. Now, Zedef just pulls it right back into T-Tar here. Body slam. Let's see if there comes a para. No, only a critical hit, not a paralyzation. So, now Smilzo goes hard into Metagross. As Zedef makes a really nice play and EQs the Metagross right there. Damn, that was a fire play. Predicting, yeah, that, that would have covered the Metagross would have done a bit more if the per come came out or something. That was a really fire play. So, if this is really fast, he turn he wants to risk it he can eq and he actually does do exactly that kills the metagross turn five already a mon down and already a rock resist down for this t-tar to be able to go in so skarmy is the next pokemon to come in i guess milzo expected or at least wanted to like go for the fact that metagross could outspeed this t-tar and just wanted to stay in instead of to go skarmy there now this is basically a free spike for smilzo because because there is already a zapdos revealed the chances of there being a magneton are pretty unlikely zapdos magneton you don't really see those two on the same team often so now Smilzo can just pull it back right in the Snorlax. ZF is probably just going to go for the weekend on the Snorlax. Because if this is not rest Snorlax, Zapdos can be, become a huge threat in the end. Even if it is rest. Um, actually, no. Nah, if, he, if, he ha if he has rest, I guess if ZF has like a Mondo abuse rest Snorlax when it is asleep, he can abuse that. But Smilzo makes a nice double into Salamis here. T-Tar needs to get the fuck out of there because of Brick Break. I wouldn't go Zapdos because in case he rock slides. Uh, if he has another, um, if he has like a Brick Break, if he has like Gengar or something, he can go into that because it can slurp up a Rock Slide. It can be immune to a Brick Break. It's basically like a mid-ground play, especially because it does have the Ice Punch. It's going to be able to ignore the spikes. It can definitely eat up a Rock Slide for sure. So if he has something like Gengar, he can go into that. If he has, I'm, th I'm going to think of other things that can resist Brick Break and Rock Slide. I don't know, uh, I, don't, I, c I can't think of think of one off the top of my head. Or one that can be, yeah, if he has a purge or something, he can go into that too. But he does have a big fat Gengar that gets hard crit by the hidden power flying. That really sucks. Damn. Yeah, that really sucks too much. Because Gengar would have been able to eat that up. Ice Punch right back. Or at least I assume Big Gengar could eat a HP flying up. Because Gengar's a pretty fat. If I <laughs> if I choke on the prediction right there. Um, then a uh, nice choke. Big choke by Steel. But I see the entire Esther's chat saying robbery as well. So I assume that definitely mattered. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm like 99% positive, but uh, your boy's still not trying to make mistakes. Now, Zapdos can do, go for a free T-Bolt. He knows the Salmon's is locked in HP flying, because this is 99% uh, sure banded. So, this is the freest T-Bolt. I don't think, I think Snorlax is actually in 2 KO range. If Smilzo, would ha if Smilzo had a ground, he would have probably switched that in, but yeah, Magneton is a switch in, but this isn't appreciate T-Bolt at all. Yeah, this actually takes a lot. Now, Zapdos looking to put in a whole lot of work, especially because this Snorlax is not a switch in, because it is in 2 KO range. Especially if it's not rest Snorlax, in that case, um, the Zapdos can even put in the finest amount of work. But then it's kind of a weird team because he doesn't have any Zapdos ants, so I definitely do assume it is rest Snorlax. But uh, even then, you don't want to stay with the Zapdos on a potential toxic right here. You don't want your Zapdos getting weakened like that. You don't want it getting chipped by T-Bolt either. Yeah, Blissey's nice play covered both of those plays. Uh, now we can just fire off a fat Fire Blast, although Snorlax can eat that up and rest up and abuse that. So that might be something he has to watch out for. Uh, if he has... Any form of attack move, we can definitely click that. He reveals the Fire Blast. Now, he can definitely double out on the Snorlax here. I don't know if he has something to abuse Snorlax. If he has a fighting type, he can double out into that for sure. Because, like, outside of Snorlax, there's no real switch into Blissey on Smilzo's part. So, if he has something to abuse that Snorlax, he can definitely double it in right here. If he has a Dug Joe, he can double it in too. Actually, I actually would like to see a Dug Joe. I, I guess he he might want to save the Dug Joe in case he wants to switch it in later on the Magneton or uh, on a, like, Sleeping Weak and Snorlax or something like that. But, I don't know. I, I think Dugtro is a fine play here. Because, I actually, I don't know if Snorlax is in Dugtro range. Because I don't know the exact HP of Snorlax. So, actually, if, if Snorlax is not in range yet, then, uh, yeah, he just doubles the Pert instead. So, yeah, double the Pert was a fine play as well. Now, if this is rest Snorlax, we will see right now. It can just rest up um, right here. can also just go into, yeah, nothing really. <laughs> Skarmory doesn't really appreciate Swampert's attacks, although it can get up more spikes. But then you let in the Zapdos again. And that's not something you want in Smilzo's position. So... Uh, he does go into Skarmory. I guess, yeah, I, I guess that was a fine play because EQ. I mean, uh, I mean, Snorlax could definitely eat up an EQ from that range. So, because, like, Snorlax was at, like, or unless I missed, unless I, like, misread that, the Snorlax was at, like, about 50. But nice whirlwind play right there. Catches the Blissey, weakens the Blissey, and the teacher at the same time. Um, I'm stuck in a few turns behind, but yeah, nice play. Teacher actually goes for the focus punch on the Toxic. That was a, oh, holy shit, that was a powerful play. Uh, by ZF right there. Damn. Damn, that was a play of the century. Nice focus punch on the Toxic. I guess focus punch was fine because if you want to stay in with the T-Tart, I guess the move to click is focus punch. Or I guess Rock Slide would have worked too, but focus punch was really, really sick. 
So now I guess he can um, just focus punch again, predicting the whirlwind. Actually, do you focus punch again if you predict the whirlwind? Yeah, because you want to get pulled into either Blissey or Zapdos. Preferably Zapdos, because Zapdos basically just gets a kill. Um, I guess you focus punch again here, because if Smilza goes for the spike, you kill him. Uh, he does get the second spike, but if he goes for the whirlwind, you can get whirlwind out into a mod that can beat the Skarmory, because Skarmory is very low right now. So I definitely think double focus punch is the play here from ZF. But instead, he opts to go into Blitzy, but if your whirlwind's here, that's fucked. But the spike comes up, so ZF gets the play correct. Yeah, if, if the whirlwind came out, that would have been quite fucked. Uh, I still think Focus Punch was a fine play, although he could have just brought in Salamence after. And, I mean, the Swampert's still there to come into Salamence. Like, it's not like the Swampert is low, and it's it's banded Salamence. He can switch into that, so. Uh, ZF's play worked out for him, though, so we ain't complaining about that. Now he can just fire off. Uh, I, I assume he's just gonna stop build up, actually. Or hard fire blast, predicting the Skarmory to spike on the soft build, abusing the soft build right there. If ZF pulls the trigger and fire blast on the Skarmory, uh, and just kills it right here. Actually, no, not, it, it wouldn't have mattered, because he gets the third layer of spikes anyway, so it doesn't really matter, yeah. I don't know what I'm even saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that definitely doesn't matter. Now he can go into Snorlax for basically free, and if this is rest, he can rest up as the burn comes out. So if this is not rest, this is extremely fucked for Smilzo. Uh, if this is, it doesn't really matter. So, I, I actually don't know what the play would be, because uh, I don't know what that as last, as it is Dugtro. So, if he rests up here, oh my lord, he actually rested. Oh, uh, holy shit, that's play, holy shit, that's play of the game for sure. What the fuck, dude? Uh, yeah, and he crits him, which doesn't matter, because it's a 3 kill anyway. So, yeah, the crit definitely didn't matter. What the fuck, dude? That was such a powerful play, hard Dugtro. I think Dugtro even eats up any attack from Snorlax. I mean, at least a body slam, or a EQ, if you wanted to predict the T-Tar. So... I definitely think, like, because of the burn, he was put in a good position right there, because he could have gotten into the show for free. But yeah, ZF made a really good play here. Now he just sacks up the T-Tar. Uh, yeah, pretty obvious play T-Tar was, like, really low and poisoned. Nothing Smilza can do, though. HP flying, Zapdos comes in again. Now, there's no Zapdos switch in revealed yet. Uh, we will have to see what the last is to see if there's anything that's going to switch into Zapdos, because he really doesn't have anything. Otherwise, he can sack something, then go into Salem's to scare it out with a rock slide. Uh, if you can sack, like, Magneton or Skarmory, both don't really do too much this game. I guess Skarmory can whirlwind around but yeah both don't really do anything this game so i assume the last on smizzle's part is actually a bucky water and since if it's pert he would have brought it in a long time ago uh, i assume it's something like a suicune with like with the spikes and everything and with the uh yeah with the spikes and everything and with some boom support maybe uh, actually i don't know if the snorlax would have been boom rest but uh yeah with with kind of that kind of support some physical breakers uh could really pair a lot well alongside suicune if this is a known team and it's not suicune <laughs> i feel really stupid right now but okay uh we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna talk too much but uh i, I assume it is suicune as the last mana smells was part so skarmory gets revealed and sacked off right there now smells can go right back into silence fire off a fat rock slide as that i can just pull it back into uh big pert though i mean i guess he can pull it back into big pert because i mean pert doesn't appreciate hp flying plus spikes but i don't think he gets to a kill by hp flying from this range as it's actually protects yeah smills always like fucked now uh yeah this is mega fucked <laughs> uh because he can just scout every time so like smills can't even over predict an hp flying on the perch so now perch super obvious if smills wants to double uh, that would be a nice play so but he actually just plays it safe on rock slide disagree with that play i mean i'm not here to shit talk these plays but i definitely would have doubled if the last is a suicune we definitely don't know yet but i definitely think that was a yeah it is the last is a suicune so uh, I mean, he gets it in on an Ice Beam for basically free anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I think a double would have been nice there. I mean, yeah, just because you could have gotten it in right there. But it still works out, because ZF is not going to EQ with Salamence. I guess I guess EQ was the play there, because there's, like, Rockslide wouldn't do shit anyway, so I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, both players are just playing really safe. Roar comes out, so that Roar is actually really scary. Both Blissey and Pert take 25. Now, you don't want this Pert to die, because it is the only rock resist. I, actually, that's unfactual. There's still a Duck Show that can revenge these Salamence with Rock Slide. So, I think this Duck Show, like, this Duck Show doesn't win, but this Duck Show puts in a whole bunch of work at the end here. So, I guess you pull it back into Blissey again, but then, if he roars... Like, if he roars, it's a 1 in 3 chance you get the good one, aka Zapdos. You can also go into zap those, but then if he roars, it's still 1 in 3 chance that you get a good roar. Like, how do you even call that? Like, a roll, like, luck chance? Like, the Pokemon gets roared in, basically. So he does go into zap those right there, roar comes out. So let's see if Blissey comes out. No, Pert comes out again. So this Pert keeps getting dragged out, poor, poor soul. <laughs> this, yeah, this Pert's getting weakened and weakened. So if ZF really wants to be a goat here, he just attacks this weak... I predict the roar, but I actually assume... Uh, I mean, I don't assume, but Smilzo, it would be cool of him to actually... Just attack here, I'm sorry, I just got a hiccup, but, um, yeah, if he just attacks here, that would be nice, because if this person stays in, he can just pick that shit off, that would be nice. 
And I don't think the Blissey wants to take. Uh, I don't think the Blissey wants to switch into a roar anyway, because if he switches into a roar, I don't think he can take another attack from this uh, so we can if this was live record i could hover over the blissey's hp but i think it's pretty low because last time actually last time he did heal up on the snorlax so it, it actually the blissey should be relatively healthy but not too not too too healthy like it's at like 75 let's take some uh hazard chip so it goes into zapdos roar comes out again a again the perk gets dragged out this is uh, yeah really unlucky for zf but I think he still has this. I don't really see how he doesn't have this. This bird's basically fought right now. I assume Smills is just gonna attack. If ZF wants to really be a goat here, he goes hard in the Zapdos on the attack. Um, yeah, that's a good play by ZF, as the CM does come out. So yeah, Smills makes a cool play, goes to the CM, tries to abuse that, but the Zapdos comes in. Now, the Zapdos can slurp up any attack and fire back with a T-Bolt. Now, depending on the spread, if it's like Spadef Suicune, it can eat two T-Bolts, but that's like kind of onset. And I don't even know if, like, 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 that Spadef bullshit set always carries that, sir. like, I don't know, it's not really common at all, but I've seen it ran before, like, the Spadef, uh, CM Suicune, but that doesn't 2KO Zapdos anyway, because it carries Surf. Actually, I don't know if it 2KOs, actually, yeah, I don't think it 2KOs, I think it does around, like, yeah, around, like, this HP, but I don't know if that would have 2KO'd, it might have with the Sandstorm damage, uh, but that would mean a double down. Anyway, so yeah, this weekend does get to a kill by the t -ball. I don't know even know what I'm all what I'm saying. So he has to go into Magneton here, then go into Salamence and Rock Slide after. But ZF can just scout with Zap those, then sack the uh, Swampert, then go into Duck Show, claim a kill. And actually, yeah, I don't think Smilza can win at all because the Zap those can still eat any attack from Suicune and just come in on it. It doesn't take hazard damage at all either. He just tacks here, plays it safe. Now he can go into Swampert, just sack that shit off. And go into Duck Show after. Smells I can't even double because he would just be put in a worse spot. This is like this is the freest Duck Show ever. I don't I don't think Duck Show can two kill this weekend, but he can at least chip it away. Then ZF actually yeah, I think Smills is only win kind of to crit right at this point. Because the Rock Side is gonna come out on the Suicune here. Uh, it's not gonna two kill, I don't think. Cause yeah, the Suicune still has a lot of HP left. It's definitely not gonna two kill because this is the probably some uh some fit F Suicune set. So it's gonna slurp two uh two of them up. I guess he can stay with the Salamence here. I, w I was gonna say, I guess he can stay in and fish for Rock Slide Mist, but he's locked in Rock Slide himself, so I don't think that kills Duck Cho. Not even with the band. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. I don't know if that kills Duck Cho. I, I guess I'll calc it after this these games. But not that like, it really matters. Uh, Smilza's only main con is a crit at this point, because he goes in the Suicune here, right? Rock Slide comes in. Probably, yeah, definitely doesn't do a kill. It doesn't do jack shit. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna eat that up, even with the Sandstorm damage. So now ZF can just go pull it back right into Suicune. There's nothing Smilza can even do. Because even if he. I guess if he doubles the Salamence here on the uh, Zapdos, then ZF sacks at Blissey, goes back to Duck Show, and then Smilzo can fish for a Rock Slide miss. I guess that's 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 a bigger chance than crit, I guess. Uh, so I don't know if that's the play. He can also just go for the hard surf and fish for a crit on Zapdos, but I think double is the play to uh, optimize your chances. But either way, Smilzo would need to get extremely lucky to win this game anyway, so it's not like it really... Actually, no, no, no. Actually, what, what am I saying? Because then the Duck Show is in versus Suicune, but the Zapdos is still at 50%, so he wouldn't have gained shit from that, and he loses anyway. Now this Salamence uh, is going to be able to take out the Zapdos, and if this uh, Duck Show... This Duck Show is probably going to have an attack that um, that takes out the Salamence from this range. He's just going to sack off the Blissey. Uh, just in case he misses Rock Slide, I guess, but it doesn't matter because he's, he's not in range of all that Sandstorm chip anyway. Uh... I don't know, does it have like, yeah, it does have an attack that hits the Salamence and has 100% accuracy. I, I realize it actually has like a 1000% accuracy. So we do see that game conclude right there. I, I really loved some of ZF's plays. Like that Duck Show on the, uh, Duck Show on the Snorlax made it, like, made it quite, I mean, I wouldn't say impossible for Smilzo to win, but it made it super hard because this Protect, uh, especially with Protect, so the only Pokemon that could revenge it, uh, would be locked into a move and ZF would know the move. So we see the screen fades to black, so Mr. Dockers doesn't even show the, um, doesn't even show the standing, so <laughs> big lazy Dockridge back at it again. But if we scroll back right here, um, like, l l just talking about the game, I definitely think Smilza got the luckier. He got some lucky roar things. He got the crit on Gengar, but not like it all mattered, because after that god play by ZF trapping the Snorlax, the Zapdos just kind of went in, especially with that protect, like I already said. There was no real switch. Also, the uh, EQ play at the start of the game, removing the Metagross was also really good. So overall, I think ZF definitely deserved this win. Uh, even though he got hacks, I think he definitely played this better. Not like Smilzo played bad at all. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this game. Nice semifinals worthy game. So the next semifinals game against, uh, where's, I actually don't know who who are playing. This is really bad of me. Uh, I know it's Jirachi, but I don't know who it's against. 
But uh, uh, the other semifinals game is getting played tonight, so that will be coming up in the next few days. But I'm really glad to uh, at least have one video up on the GOAT Dockridge YouTube channel. I'll be forcing Dockridge to upload a bit more. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to get out of the basement and trying to like... Uh, trying to like make him record but this man <laughs> this man does not care he just has me trapped in the basement force he just forces me to record games and he only uploads like a few of them himself but i'm just rambling on right now hope you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to my channel in the description if you like uploads that never come so <laughs>